Welcome and thank you for joining us at our Daily Bread Ministries for this evening's meditative podcast. Tonight we're reflecting on God's generous salvation. God has given you this moment to slow down and be still before him. Close your eyes and let your head gently sink into your pillow. Breathe deeply, easing out the tension of your body with every exhale. Invite God's presence to fill you as you breathe in. This place of peaceful rest is God's gift to all his children. It is time to hand the day's joys and burdens to him and to open your heart to the refreshing hope and reassurance of his word. Dear Father, You are so good to me. When I consider all that you have done for me, I am awed and humbled. May I experience joy and security as I consider the salvation of Jesus again tonight. John chapter 3, verses 16 to 17 says, God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Pause for a moment tonight over the word, whoever. Is there anyone in the history of the world who doesn't fit into that word? It means that whoever you can think of This verse offering salvation is for them. It means this verse was written for you. Jesus' sacrifice on the cross was for you. If you have put your faith in Jesus tonight, God's promise of eternal life holds true for you. No matter what else may have happened today, you are no longer under condemnation. You are saved through his one and only son, given for you. Rest tonight in the love of God for you. It is so great that whoever you are, His gift of salvation in Christ is for you. As we turn to prayer, breathe deeply, working out any tension through long, slow exhales. The presence of the Lord is a place of rest and peace. Do this breathing exercise to relax your body, refocus your heart and become aware of the presence of our Almighty God, who promises to hear every word on our lips and in our hearts. 
breathe in. And out. And in. And out. And in, and out. Let's pray. Father, thank you for sending Jesus to save whoever believes in him. I am so thankful that he came for me, to save me and give me new life. Lord Jesus, thank you for removing all condemnation from me. You took my judgment in full on the cross. Now I am free. May I revel once more in this incredible salvation. One John chapter four verses nine to ten says This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him. This is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Let's close with a final prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for your love. Thank you for showing me what true love looks like. It is willing to go to the neediest. It seeks to save the lost. It never gives up. How wonderful that this love is mine. Thank you for saving me through Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, slain for me and now seated upon the throne. Amen.